In this presentation, we're going to add a transaction related to insurance from our bank feeds into our financial transactions. Here we go with zero. Here we are on our Triple G dashboard for zero. We're going to open up our financial statements, go into the accounting drop down, and going on down to the balance sheet. Once that balance sheet opens, we're going to go back up top. We're going to be right clicking on that tab. We're going to duplicate that tab. We're going to go back to the tab to the left, do the same thing for the income statement, selecting the accounting drop down, going on down to the income statement, opening that financial statement up, our two favorite financial statements, the two main financial statement reports, right clicking on the tab up top, we're going to duplicate that tab. We're going to do this one more time for another report, that being our bank reconciliation, we're going to go to the accounting drop down, go on down to our reports. And then we want to go down to the accounting section, take a look at that bank reconciliation summary report. Once that opens up, we'll go back up top to the tab, up top, right clicking on it and duplicate that tab. Let's adjust our dates now, go into the balance sheet tab and we're going to adjust the date. We're in the month of April now, we're working in the month, we're not in the month of April, but that's where our practice problem is. So that's where we're working. So there it is, April. And then the income statement, I'm going to bring this just for the month of April. So we just see the current activity that we'll have. So that means we got to set the beginning date, April 1st to April uh, 30th. Now, we don't have anything after April, so I might not do this every time. I'll just set the beginning date. So there's April. That's what we have so far. Bank reconciliation tab. We're going to set this to the Chase Bank. And this is once again for the month of April. April. So there we have that and update. Then we're going to go back to the first tab and we are going to uh, go to our accounting drop down. Let's take a look at our banking information going back into those bank feeds where we have 12 items. We're going to go into those reconciling items. We have 12 items left. Now we're going to consider the uh, insurance information now. So I'm going to hold down control, scroll up just a little bit to get to that one, two, five, because that's where I like to be in terms of the zoom. Going on down, we're looking for the insurance. Now we have this one for the insurance here. Insurance is a little bit tricky. I just want to point it out that, I mean, if any type of insurance you have, it's a little bit different than other type of expenses like the phone or the utility bill, because when you pay for the insurance, by definition, you're paying for it before you get the service. In other words, the coverage hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen in the future, as opposed to the phone bill or the, or the utility bill or the electric bill, which happened in the past, and you're getting paid for the past use that has happened. Uh, therefore, also and on the insurance, you might not pay for it monthly. You might be paying for it like six to 12 months in advance. And that means that makes a difference because uh, if you were to exp expense something like this, let's say we paid this insurance bill 12 months in, in advance in the month of April and we expense it at the time of purchase, then what's going to happen is uh, in, in April, we'll have this big expense on it. And then in March, we won't have any expense, even though the coverage does coverage March as well. So when I do a comparison, in other words, from, from uh, April to March, April will look worse because of this big expense. But really that expense was something that helped March and future periods. So typically if that's the case for these type of things, that's why another reason why you might deviate from, from a cash basis to an accrual basis under that method. And if you do so, you want to think about adjusting entries that you or your accountant might do. So you might talk to your accountant about insurance and say, well, what about insurance? Where should I record that? And you might work out a deal saying, hey, look, you record insurance to this account called prepaid insurance. And, and then we're going to periodically go into the insurance account at the end of the month or year and adjust the amount out of prepaid insurance and, and expense it as you go. So that could be kind of a method that you could use if you set that up then it would be easy to, to set that up. All you would do is set up the insurance. Every time you pay for insurance, it goes to prepaid instead of an expense, an asset account called prepaid insurance. And then you'd have to go in and adjust it or your account would have to adjust it periodically. If however, you don't want to, and once you do that, you could just set up again, the bank feed always going to the same account. You always record it to the same account, but there's this added step that needs to happen by you or somebody else, the accounting or the adjusting department at the end of the period. Or you can do the easiest thing, which is just to stick with a cash basis method and just say, I don't care that it's prepaid. I'm, I'm gonna recognize that it's gonna throw off my matching principle between you know the month of the income statement. I'll deal with that, that's fine. I wanna just expense it now and be done with it. <laughs> and then I don't have to do any adjusting entry. And that's what we'll do now. We'll just expense it. 
either method that you use notice you can do you could set up the bank fee to just do whatever whichever method you pick you could set it always to go to the same account either prepaid insurance or insurance expense on a cash basis prepaid insurance accrual basis or insurance expense on a cash basis the accrual basis then requires an added step for an adjusting entry at the end of the period cash basis does not accrual basis will have a better matching principle cash basis will have a worse matching principle but is easier to deal with so we'll just use the cash myth method now because that's what we've been going with so i'm going to go with the uh, safe insurance company i'm just going to copy that into the who and see if we then have an insurance expense over here do we have insurance expense any insurance expense no insurance oh there it is i thought they had one so 6320 we don't have to set anything up so we're going to create this as we go i'm going to close this we're going to create this as we go and uh we will match it at the same point in time next time we have an insurance expense for this vendor it will probably make a suggestion for us and that suggestion will probably be right and we could set up a rule based on that suggestion if we so choose so i'm going to say okay and there we have that if we then check out what happens go into our balance sheet i'm going to be updating the balance sheet and take a look at the effect on it we'll go into the checking account here i'm going to see the checking account should of course go down because we just wrote a check for that eleven thousand, and that's for a year's worth of insurance so going on in here scrolling on down we're going to say there should be a uh, eleven thousand. there it is all right then i'm going to go back to the balance sheet we're going to go then to the income statement the other side once i hit enter is going to appear here on the income statement so if i go back up top and say update we're going to see the eleven thousand here now again that's a large amount eleven thousand because when i when i compare say april to the prior month it, i didn't have the eleven thousand there maybe it was covered by something that was paid in the past last month and and, and i'm and now i have this big expense which makes net income goes down and then if i go to may I'm not going to have an insurance expense because I didn't pay for it in May, even though May is benefiting from the insurance that I paid in April. That's what we call a problem with the matching principle. But as long as you recognize that and you see that, you can say, oh, well, that's why my insurance, my, my net income is low because of the insurance expense that I paid that's going to be affecting multiple periods into the future. You can kind of still make decisions based on that as long as you kind of recognize that. Uh, but that's going to be the problem with the cash versus the uh, accrual method. And you also want to think, well, what, how are you going to report that for financial statement or tax purposes and whatnot? And for that, again, talk to your accountant with regards to any kind of prepayments and just see what they think would be the best system, work out a system that works best for you. Then we're going to go back up to the bank reconciliation tab. What's going to happen here is we're going to update this one. That's going to change this bank ba or book balance to what is on the balance sheet. On the balance sheet, we currently have 177,267. If I go back over here, it's also going to be removing that 11,000 as a reconciling item. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to update this report. And, and I think that's right. Although this should be as of the end of, uh, I should have a, uh, April. I'm out in May. It won't make a difference here because I don't have anything in May. But if I update this report for the month of April, then same thing. We got the 177,267. So 177,267. And we no longer see that 11,000 as the reconciling item. If we then go back to the first tab then, and we scroll back up top on the bank reconciliation tab now, this is what we uploaded from the bank feeds within that information we now see that 11,000 should be uh, marked as reconciled now so it was already there now it's just marked as reconciled if we go to the account transactions this is our book side of things these are the transactions that we have now created so there's the 11,000 that we now created and have reconciled basically at the same point in time that's it for now let's get out of here